Yes, hello and good evening and welcome to Watchdog. We're live as usual for the next 60 minutes. Tonight, Generation Rent, how Foxton's, Reed's Reigns and your move signed tenants up to costly deals. I think it was scandalous. It's not something that a landlord or indeed their agent can force a tenant to do. There is a redress scheme okay. uh, in, the, in the lettings industry. I, okay. check, I get my facts absolutely right. Yeah. There, there is You're a, very there, good at this. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this. Yeah, go on. There's a property ombudsman, yeah. and what well, he has the power to make letting agents pay cash compensation. But, and this is a very big but, yeah. it's, you know, it's only entirely voluntary, so you don't have to join the scheme. So these I guys think... obviously didn't. Right. But there is some good news, isn't there? There is some good news. The yeah. government um, uh, have now announced that all letting agents must join this scheme However, uh, whatever size they are, small, yeah. big, whatever, yeah. um, and whatever decision the ombudsman makes, they have to abide by that decision yeah. and pay the people back. So, you know, there's one bad bit of news, is yeah. the law hasn't become law yet. And okay, the government hasn't told us when it's going to be law, so if anyone from the government's watching, please make it law. But, but it does mean that if you go to a big letting agent now, proper, uh, you know, an established name, you're going to be OK? Well, one would have thought so, but unfortunately that's not necessarily the case. Um, which which what I've, your team, a wonderful team, and I found out. Because you don't have to be licensed. You don't have to be qualified necessarily. To, OK. Well, yeah. Let's take a look at your film. Oh, my Another film. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> Generation rent, they call it. A whole swathe of society denied the dream of home ownership. 3.8 million people now rent from private landlords or letting agents. And the number continues to increase. You want to know the reasons? Look at the rising cost of living. Or the banks who aren't lending. Or if you can bear it, look at house prices, which, once more, are on the up. Some tenants are being ripped off by letting agents who charge unjustified and excessive fees. The lettings industry urgently needs to be reformed and regulated. That's according to the property ombudsman, who's seen a rise in complaints. So for many, renting's the only option. But for too many, it's a bad one. The property ombudsman, which regulates the housing market, received more than 8,000 complaints about letting agents in 2012, more than double the amount it handled five years ago. But things are about to change, or so we're being told. Yes, after years of campaigning, ministers have finally listened. A new law means all letting agents, however small, will have to join that redress scheme we've just been talking about. It's not voluntary, it's a legal requirement. Well, that should be the end of the problems in the letting industry, right? Wrong. Meet Daryl Croft. He part owns, part rents his apartment in London. It's serviced by a yep. regulated property management firm. But that doesn't stop them charging whatever they want in maintenance fees. The service charge when I first moved into the flat was £62 a month in uh, 2009. Now, it increased then the next year to £85 a month. Uh, and then this year it's increased again to £166 a month. It's had a huge impact on, on me financially. We're trying to save for a wedding next year. Uh, it's very difficult and you're having to pay an extra £100 each month. Daryl's story is just one example of an industry-wide problem. You see, there are no hard rules on what companies can charge in service fees. The law does say charges must be reasonable, but then fails to define what reasonable actually means. It's really worrying that the service charge can increase so quickly uh, and so far um, without us seemingly having any influence on that. Um, you kind of feel a bit trapped. As do his fellow residents, who've also seen their charges rocket. But hiking management mm -hmm. fees is just one of the methods agents use to make money. Ever heard of the gas and electricity supplier Spark Energy? Well, probably not, unless you've rented a property through one of their partners, letting giants like Foxton's, Reed's Reigns and Your Move. Lee Harrison started renting his flat through Foxton's in September last year but found he'd been automatically signed up as a Spark Energy customer. The first bill that we got, which would have been five weeks' worth of gas, was over £500, which is essentially at more than 12 months' worth with, for a, you know, a flat of this size. Not happy with the service, Lee tried to switch. One problem. It's virtually impossible to leave Spark Energy. You get an enormous bill, so you try and contact them, 
to talk about that bill. When you finally did get through, they said they would look into it. So they made me pay a certain amount of money there and then. That was then ignored. I got another bill for exactly the same amount. So you go through the same process and that continues and continues and continues. So you're in a never ending circle. Lee is just one of around 200 unhappy Spark Energy customers who've contacted Watchdog in the past year, all complaining about incorrect bills and poor customer service. Even worse, many can't switch energy provider. Because of the problems we had with Spark Energy, we then looked into the contracts, and it was then that we saw that in the Foxton's contract, the Spark Energy uh, were written in as the supplier that you had to use. And it felt like we were being held to ransom. OK, let's take a look at that clause in the Foxton's contract. The tenant agrees that all accounts for gas and electricity will be through Spark Energy. We found similar clauses in rental contracts with Your Move and Reed's Reigns. The tenant understands that at the date the let commences, gas and electricity will be supplied by Spark Energy Limited. So what's in it for these letting agencies? Well, surprise, surprise, they get paid commission by Spark Energy for the tenants they sign up. Lucrative then, but are they allowed to do it? I think it was scandalous. It's not something that a landlord or indeed their agent can force a tenant to do. Uh, if this was to going on, it would be uh, an outrageous abuse of uh, the influence that a letting agent has at a vulnerable time when a tenant is signing up for a new property. Strong words, but do the authorities agree? First, we asked the Office of Fair Trading, who told us... The tenant should have the choice of supplier, although he may be required... Then we asked the energy regulator, Ofgem, who went even further. If the tenant is directly responsible for paying the gas and or electricity bills, they have the right to choose their own energy supplier, and the landlord or letting agent should not unreasonably prevent this. The big question then is this. Will the new legislation, which covers the smaller players too, make any difference? Well, the letting industry has for some time been described as the wild west of the property market, uh, and whilst these new regulations are to be welcome it's only a step towards full regulation which the industry has been pressing for now for some 10 years okay and since you filmed that there's been a response hasn't there from yes, the agencies there has know? foxton's yeah. reeds reigns and your move all say they welcome the move towards a regulated lettings industry and point out they are already members of a number of industry bodies they say they use spark energy to make life as simple and easy as possible for their tenants when they're moving into a new property they add that tenants are told about the arrangement, that they're free to switch if they choose to. All say their practice is in line with guidance issued by Ofgem and the Office of Fair Trading. However, your move told us that the tenants' rights to switch their energy supplier is now highlighted in the tenancy agreement. We should add that some of your move branches are run by franchi fran franchises who have opted out of the Spark Energy arrangement. So if you're a tenant, please, please check your contract. Very important.